Fox 13 is committed to covering the leading candidates in the race for Memphis mayor with as much context as possible. We've been covering those who want to lead our city and the environments they're already leading, whether that be running the sheriff's office, fighting for civil rights, serving the county commission, downtown Memphis or the school board. Now, I previously moderated a debate with those leading candidates, but the one we have not heard from in any setting is former mayor Willie Harrington to help make you uh, help you make an informed decision on this first day of early voting. Fox 13's Jeremy Pierre sat down with Harrington exclusively and asked him why he's not taking part in any debates for your your vote. Throughout the mayoral campaign season, voters have heard from candidates in public forums and debates. However, one of the highest profile candidates declined all invitations to participate in those events. Everybody wants to know, why haven't you participated in any of these debates? Well, first of all, I have been consistent. Uh, let me just make it emphatically clear. I am the only candidate for mayor that has a record. I saw some of the debates. They were weak as hell. People kept saying the same things over and over again. The candidates with all of these uh, canned uh, responses, and many of them had no sense of reality. So I would have been bored. Public would not have been informed. Former five-term Memphis mayor Willie Harrington last led the city as mayor 14 years ago. He explained why participating in the debates did not hit his radar as a top priority. I'm not a damn entertainer. I'm a public servant. I don't want to get up on a stage like puppets, okay, from some ill informed media personalities to probe into me, asking me irrelevant kinds of things that have nothing to do with the future of Memphis. So I asked the question which happened to center around the biggest concern of Memphians and how he planned to make it better, safety. Everybody wants to know uh, when you're reelected, are you going to keep Chief Davis? And if you notice, I've stayed away from, uh, you know, acknowledging what my thoughts are. But I will say this, uh, the relationship between the mayor and his or her police chief must be good. Are you going to bring back Blue Crush? Of course I'm going to bring back Blue um, Jeremy, that was the most effective crime abatement strategy that I've seen in Memphis. And you need to know this, uh, I've always been about the business of knowing what the best practices are. What's really working in major cities? I'm bringing Blue Crush back because we've got to dig deep into the street culture of Memphis to solve the crime problems. I know how to do this. I've done it before. And yes, we're going to bring back what I call a reimagined Blue Crush. The Blue Crush program worked in high crime communities, investigated and then targeted drug dealers and repeat violent offenders. If elected, the 83-year-old will be 87 at the end of his term. Many might say. <laughs> Dr. Harrington, you've been the leader of the school system. Yeah. You've been the mayor for 16 plus years before. Yeah. Maybe you're too old to do this. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. Um, I'm in better shape than a lot of the 40 year olds I've seen. I see a lot of guys 40 years old, hell, they can't walk them out. They're fat, they're all out of shape. I am uh, so passionate, uh, reinvigorated. Man, I have the enthusiasm to get into this job, to dig deep, and to turn this city around. In Memphis, Jeremy Pierre, Fox 13 News. We've reached out to six of the leading mayoral candidates for comment. Only two have responded so far. You can find their statements on fox13memphis.com.